February 27th. Move approval. Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Um, this evening we have two items for consideration. P1, resolution 22-R-12, approving a plat of subdivision yielding two lots at 1422 Dodge. Staff and the Site Plan and <coughs> Appearance Review Committee recommends adoption of 22-R-12, which would approve the creation of two legally conforming lots from one at 1422 Dodge. Sparks has also approved the site plan improvement, and the plan was attached in your packet, considering a new landscaping for the area of the proposed two lots that front Dodge Avenue and Greenwood Street. Say a motion. Second. It's been moved and second. Any discussion? Uh, Alderman Wynn. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I have a question about, I noticed in the subdivision, it, it runs at a little bit of an angle, and then it leaves the corner. Am I correct in, in reading this correctly? It leaves the corner of Dodge and Greenwood. What, what lot will that, that become? Will that be part of the original lot? Um, Mr. Marino is going to speak yeah. to that. Thank you, Alderman. Um, the uh, Alderman, when the site that you refer to is, is not part of Smitty's land at this point, okay. um, and so it's owned by another party, uh, which happens to be a roofer. Uh, it's a commercial firm uh, that's parallel to Dodge and stretches that little part of Greenwood as well. It's it's like a small pie slice, right? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. Yes. Um, so what Smitty owns is the uh, old railroad right-of-way, right. uh, and what he's doing is uh, subdividing that so he can sell off the south half of that to his long-term tenant, uh, the, uh, the, um, Gabriel the Landscaper, KGI. Okay. That, that, that answers, uh, that help, that's very helpful. What can we do uh, to help that property owner of that pie slice clean up their property? Because I drive past their you know, I have a high school or so anywhere from one to five times a day. And, um, and it, you know, you can see through the, the green fence, and the property doesn't look like it's very well maintained. So can we do something to approach that, that property owner to get that site cleared up? Yes, uh, that is our intention. Uh, we've had some excellent discussion with both Smitty and Gabriel, who are here tonight. Uh, in the audience uh, as they pursued this plat of subdivision. And they've also uh, helped us reach out to other property owners in, in that immediate area, uh, abutting their properties. And Alderman Braithwaite's been involved in that. So we'll continue to have those discussions uh, over the next 60 days with the other property owners as well. Okay. And this, this uh, winter it didn't <coughs> apply as much, but um, over time, um, because I... Also have a high, I have a high school her now is in college. That sidewalk is not pla not shoveled appropriately, um, and that's the walk to school route for all of those kids. And there have been many times when um, I'm on Dodge and I'm watching them walk walk in the street because the snow hasn't been shoveled. So I think that's something that we should really address uh, next winter, or you know, heaven forbid, this winter know if we still get something but that 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 is something that I've noticed over and over again in the past so we need to to raise that we definitely will okay. we'll involve the property owners as well as property standards okay thank you very much you're welcome I think Alderman Brefwick you, you no no oh okay but maybe you wanted to make a comment on that um, are there any other questions or comments no. well, it's been moved and second all in favor aye, aye. any opposed Okay, moving on to um, P2, Ordinance 35-0-12, amending the zoning ordinance relating to the creation of the payday loan or consumer loan establishment as a special use. The plan commission and the city staff recommends the addition of a zoning designation for payday loans and consumer loan establishments to distinguish them from other fin uh, financial institutions and recommend those businesses only be allowed by special use in the C2 zoning districts with a 1,000-foot 
buffer be, uh, between such establishments. It is recommended that the text amendment be introduced and adopted on March the 26th, 2012. Move approval. Second. It's been moved and second. Are there any comments? I know that, um, is that you, Alderman Wynn? Yes, it is. Okay, and Alderman um, Breathwaite and Alderman um, Grover would also like to speak to this. So may I, they may be able to answer my question. Okay, I, okay well, go ahead. I, ask uh, I, I think this is a terrific idea. Um, the only question I have is uh, the, the length of the 1,000-foot buffer. Is it possible? How, how did that number get arrived at? Or was, how was that number arrived at? And um, is there something else in our zoning ordinance that we're trying to match it to? Or can we make it a, uh, um, any distance we want? Uh, I believe you could, you could make it any distance you decide as part of your legislative process. Um, a thousand feet is uh, used in at least one of the cases I can think of for group homes in the zoning ordinance. Um, there are other cities that have these kinds of distance requirements as well. Oh, I agree um, with the distance requirement. Right. Yeah. Right. I, and, and of that magnitude, it could be more, it could be less. Uh, depending on what the council committee and council feels appropriate. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Alderman um, Grover and Breathway. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Alderman Braithwaite and I uh, were at National League of Cities Conference back in November, and one of the workshops that we attended um, and met people from, uh, I think, Bryant, Texas or somewhere, and one of their programs was aimed directly at these rapid access lenders, the payday lenders, who many consider, and maybe you'll agree, kind of predatory. Uh, uh, we learned that a family that relies upon these rapid access lenders to get access to their own money can spend up to $40,000 during the course of their lifetime, as I said, getting access to their own money. And we have to agree there's a higher and better use for those funds. Um, the plan commission is five steps ahead of us uh, because Peter and I are hoping to bring to Evanston with the help of United Way and some of our nonprofits in Evanston an alternative program to payday lenders. And so we're looking to work with our local banking institutions and with United Way. There's grant money available to bring together the, the groups that are already doing financial literacy programs uh, to really reach out to our low and middle income families to help them find alternatives to payday lenders. Um, and there is a summit we will be convening uh, in mid-April on yep. April 18th from 8.30 until noon here in the Parasol Room at the Civic Center, which will include uh, those potential collaborators, our, our local agencies, um, our local banking institutions so that we can figure out alternatives to payday lenders in the way of products to be offered to our low and middle income families so that they can become institutional bankers, these families that are right now unbanked. Um, and the plan commission, our next step was actually going to be addressing it from a zoning perspective, but it's already happened and I think this is a great step in the right direction. Thank you. So again, it's pairing not only the zoning institutional changes, mm -hmm. But pairing that with an educational outreach effort, I think, will be make this very successful. Did you say a time on the 18th? I was trying to get it. Nine to noon. I think nine, it's nine to noon. Nine to then noon. Maybe okay. coffee at 11:30 or 8:30. Okay. Beginning early. Yeah. So please join us if you can. Send you okay. the information. Uh, staff person directing this is Joe McRae. Okay. Fine. Um, anything Thank else you, you want to add? Percent. Okay, Alderman Wynn? No, no, that's not big. Oh, is that Alderman Fist? Um, is that, I see a light, I'm sorry. No, it's not. I'll turn my light Okay, <laughs> all right. Is there anything else, Alderman Rainey? Um, the only suggestion I was going to make is, um, in some cases, C2s run along alleys that are adjacent to our districts, and I thought it might be important to um, give a distance to an R district. Um, I'm very concerned that um, these places pop up within the 1,000 foot district in, in a C2 with residents behind them. And so I was just, I'm not, I'm not going to push it because I think the 1,000 foot dis distance in a C2 with a special use is good. I'm just wondering if we could send any kind of message to uh, Zoning Board of Appeals and ourselves that 
maybe near a residential district isn't such a good location. And I, I, I don't know the distance that should be set. I was thinking like 250 feet because I think if you put in another thousand feet, then you're going to have issues with the court and you know, you're really excluding them altogether. And what we're saying is they are a special use in a, in a C2 district. So I don't know what our legal department thinks about adding another restriction. Alderman Rainey, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee grant for our corporation counsel, we will look into that per your request. I mean, we'll treat it as a staff referral and um, see where we, where we go in terms of that. I think it might be helpful to work with the zoning department to see um, in terms of an overlay how that might work on a on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of how the map works but we will we will look into that and treat it as a referral alderman rainey thank you one other thing madam chairman mm -hmm. and that is um as you all know just from reading the newspaper these are very creative um uses and uh recently it's if you've seen on tv a couple of ads for companies now whose sole service is to take the title of your car and issue you a loan against the title of your car. Of course, if you don't pay back you know, the, the loan, then you lose the title of your car and your car. And the repo man, I guess, comes and takes your car. So I'm just hoping that there is no way within the wording of this ordinance that a new kind of, you know, like bring in your, um, I don't know what, your house, I don't know, um, your refrigerator, whatever, and, and get a, a loan title against it. I just want to make sure that no way can anything be considered a retail service, which in our, our zoning code is the catch-all for everything where money changes hands almost. So I, that's all I want to be concerned about. Um, uh, Director, uh, I mean, am I clear? Do uh, you uh, yeah, uh, what no. saying? Alderman Rainey, I, I believe uh, that is covered in the middle of the, uh, the paragraph or the, the definition or by which loan transactions made or offered in lieu of a title to personal or real property. That's I think both. that's I that'll be so. a good catch-all. I hope so. Alderman uh, Wynn. I, I would like to add my voice to Alderman Rainey's in terms of the uh, being adjacent to an R district. Uh, I think that there are certain sections of C2 that are simply an alley away from residential, and that would be something that I would be concerned about as well. So, um, so I, I'm just we'll echoing. We'll look into that I'm echoing Alderman Rainey. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we shouldn't hold this no, up. We should, for no, I think we should proceed. We will proceed with it, and then yeah. we can always um, come back and amend. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, it's been moved and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And we will be asking for the suspension of rules tonight to get this passed tonight. Uh, we have no items for discussion. Uh, City Council will begin immediately. Mm.